Hey guys, it's Special Aussie here, and welcome to episode 39 of my New York City Wrestling Series for TW 2016. So this is Broadway Brawl. Uh, we've got the big main event, Spencer Spade's first ever title match in NYCW. And uh, yeah, he's taking on Dean Waldorf for the Empire title. Yeah, it's a fairly stacked card. I think we've only, I think, three people are unused, and that's it. So, yeah, we've got a lot of angles, and yeah, we've had to put in uh, a match just to to get the angle time appropriate. But we start off with the usual highlights package, uh, just with these guys there. Uh, a couple of new faces. Emmanuel Bryant. I mean, he's started to be in this angle, uh, but we've got Animal Harker there today and Savage Tiger makes a return. And uh, looking at the attendance up there, 4,992, so we're eight people off to sell out. No worker improvements, but a nice 100A start to open the show. That leads into a 75B minus. In an exceptional match, El Serpiente defeated Animal Harker and Emmanuel Bryant in 932, when El Serpiente defeated Emmanuel Bryant by pinfall after using a foreign object. El Serpiente makes defense number five of his NYCW tri-state regional title. As you expect, he also carried the match in terms of in-ring performance. So yeah, basically El Serpiente uh, got the title belt into the ring and just basically smacked Emmanuel Bryant with it and then pinned him for the 1-2-3 and makes another defense in a match that, uh, yeah, triple threat match that he very well could have lost the title in. Obviously not, because I want to give him a decent run. Uh, but this could be setting up a nice little storyline between these two, and um, I'm quite happy for that to uh, to come to fruition. Is that a word? Uh, I think it's a word, and I'm going to use it. But we do have some worker improvements. Uh, Animal Harker improves in technical skills, and Emmanuel Bryant improves in performance skills, even though he's got pretty much three 100A stars. But all good. Hopefully it's in psychology. Moving on. Yeah, so then Emmanuel Bryant cuts a promo um, after the match on El Serpiente, basically just saying how he cheated to win, how he's a, a dirty snake, and Emmanuel believes that he can beat him for his tri-state regional title. Uh, we won't book anything in yet, because I want the storyline to develop a little bit more. I haven't even made the storyline for it yet. Um, this is obviously the start of it. So I think it's an 82B. Um, I'm quite happy with that promo, to be honest. No worker improvements. Have a look at the dirt sheet. High morale, good gimmick. Okay, cool. Good stuff. That's a it's a really good rating. Um, I think his best was a 71C+, plus, maybe? 70? Yeah, 70. Something like that. Anyway, the mat next match gets a 76B-. minus. In a bout that had fantastic heat and great wrestling, Ross Henry and Steve Flash defeated Logan Wolfsbane and Ryobi Uno in 947 when Steve Flash defeated Logan Wolfsbane by pinfall with a flash bang and apparently Ross Henry um, had the best in-ring in performance followed closely by Logan so good stuff Ryobi Uno improves in rumble skills and that's a, that's a good rating, happy with that uh, Ross Henry then cuts a 91A promo on Spencer Spade Basically just saying how he's only been here for three months and he's already got a title match whereas Ross has only had one title match and he's been here for, for over a year now. Um, he's kind of the overlooked man um, in the company. So yeah, 91A, pretty good menace promo. Probably could do better. But the next match gets a 75B- minus in a superb match. Tennessee William defeated Bret Hartbreak in 936 by pinfall with the Devil's Crossroad, and they have great chemistry together, so that's really good to know, um, and a very good rating. I was actually going to make this the cooldown match, uh, but I, of course, had to add another match to the card to balance the promos out. And we got, yeah, both workers improve in performance skills, both Brett and Tennessee, so awesome. Great chemistry, and they both improve, and it's a really good match, so happy days. Alright, so here's the cooldown match. This is going to hurt our overall grade a little bit. Or quite a lot, actually. But a 44D, in a decent match, Born to Right defeated Free Entertainment in 934 when Jeff Bourne, who we needed to give a win, defeated Freedom Eagle by pinfall with a Born again. Yeah. Cooldown match. 
That's good though. Freedom Eagle improves in his flying skills and his performance skills. Awesome. Okay, so then Ernest Youngman and Marvel Malloy cut a tag team generic a generic tag team promo, which gets a 100 A star for their match, which gets an 89 A. Oh my god, I should have made that the main event. I think the main event won't be as good as that for some reason. I feel like the main event will only get a B plus. And this got an 89A, so in an exceptional match, El Medico Jr. and Marv Statler defeated Ernest Youngman and Marvel Malloy in 1946 when El Medico Jr. defeated Marvel Malloy by pinfall with a Northern Light suplex. And Marvel Malloy was off his game, and we still pulled an 89A. That's pretty crazy. No worker improvements, and we got the uh, usual lack of psychology, but we still pulled the 89 with both of those uh, Red Agent Report notes. Okay, <laughs> we then move on to an eight. Uh, sorry, a 76 B minus in an exceptional match. Savage Tiger Jr. defeated Xavi Ferreira in 951, but pinfall with the Salvage Suplex. Yeah, nothing really to mention here. 76 B minus, decent rating. Moving on to a 100 A star promo by Spencer Wade on Dean Waldorf. So Spencer's he hits his entrance, comes out, starts uh starts, you know, talking talking shit to the crowd in the McGaw Arena, saying how he's by far the best thing that has ever walked through the doors of NYCW and uh he's going to win win the um Empire title here tonight. I almost forgot what the title was called then, that's a bit sad. But yeah, he's going to win the title tonight and truly become exactly what he's prophesized since he joined three months ago. And Dean Wardoff is improving in or well, developing better performance skills, which is good also. Okay, so then we got Dean's entrance, which gets a 100 A star. As he's the champion, he deserves a spectacular over-the-top entrance. And the match itself gets a... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. A 99 A star. What do I need to do to get to like actually get a 100 rating? I don't know. But in an exceptional match, Dean Wardoff defeated Spencer Spade in 2508 by pinfall with a Wardoff salad toss. Dean Wardoff makes defense number one of his NYCW Empire title. Spencer Spade is getting better at his gimmick. No worker improvements, but a 99A star. Spence Spade is an absolute beast. Since we signed him, the, both of the big main event matches that he's been in, the tag match with Ernest and this, has gotten 99A stars. To be fair, Dean has been in both of those matches as well. So... Yeah, the interesting thing... How did we get a 99A star? Dean's overness is 82. Spencer's was only like 72. I'm... I'm... Yeah, I'm just mystified by that. It's got to be... Uh, yeah, oh, I was so close to an A. It's a best ever show, which is really good. That fucking cooldown match. The 44D that we got. Oh, if that was better... Who knows, we could have gotten a really good A, really positive A rating. I mean, not to mention, we've also got these dings, the two dings for uh, production values. I should probably fix those, seeing as I'm making $55,000 profit a month. But yeah, an 88B+, plus, very happy with that. Definitely got to give Spencer and uh, Dean some love after that. That was amazing. I think we'll also... I can't remember who it was. Might have been... Oh, I didn't use him, did I? Tits. Uh, oh, yeah, Spencer was up... Who else was... Someone else... Oh, Marvel. Yeah, Marvel Malloy was going to be upset because he took the pin in the uh, tag team match. So, yeah, we got an 89 and then an, a 99 as well on this card. That's probably why it's our best ever card. Uh, so yeah, we'll give these guys hugs. Hopefully it makes it all better. 
because Spencer was also unhappy at me as well. Guess we'll just have to wait and see if they have any minor morale issues. Oh, and I did use the uh, clear the air option that I was talking about last episode. And uh, yeah, it actually kind of worked. Uh, everyone came out of it uh, a little bit more positive, which is awesome. Okay, so Marvel has morale, like just normal morale issues. Uh, I was going to try and get Mars Stranger there, but now that we have three again, I guess we can try and clear the air again for next event. Still 44D popularity, as well as 42 importance in the tri-state region. So, not great. Things are slow. And we still can't get a TV deal until we at least become cult, I think. So, yeah. Alright, well, we may as well do this straight away. Let's have a look. I'll do this on camera. So, we need in-house. Is in-house... Yeah. Ooh. 7,500 per month. That is a lot of money to be spending. Ugh. I don't know. Oh, just do it. Oh, I did it. Okay. Okay. So we need minor license. Oh my god. It's another 7,500 per month. Oh my god, that's so brutal. That's 15,000 down the drain every month. Oh, that's painful. That really is. Okay. Well, yep, it's done. Let's have a look at our Minico's popularity after that. Back up to 82. Up 8 points. Happy with that. Exactly what I needed. About Marv, he was also in the, the winning side of that tag team match. 77B. Yeah, nice. It's up 9 points. Happy with that. How big of a dip did Ernest take? He was on a 89A. Okay, not too bad. Only 4 points. I mean, it says 91, but he was on 89 before the event started. So yeah, happy with that. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, who else was in the match? Marvel Malloy took the pinfall. 72. Okay, also down 4. That's okay. Not too bad, not too bad. What about Dean and Spencer? 89A. Okay, up five. He did win the match. Spencer was B minus before this event as well. Um, I can't see the top of that for some reason. Okay, he's a 78 now, so he's gone up. He's gone up six points. Awesome. Perfect. I say awesome way too much in these videos, but. Yeah, anyway, happy days. Emmanuel Bryant, just want to check him. He's my pet project I've mentioned a few times, the Canadian. Come on, oh, we've got a lovely little frozen screen here. Perfect. Oh, come on, please. It's quite painful when this happens to me. Because I'm not sure it happens on the recording, so I probably look like a bit of a bit of a dick, but yeah, it's up. Oh, there we go. Finally appears. Seven, oh, 56 C minus man. It's up four points. All right, I think he's ready. Hopefully he's a mid carder now. He is. Oh yeah. Awesome. I like that. I like that. Okay, so we've finally got Emmanuel Bryant up to a mid-carter, and we're going to give him his first ever storyline. Uh, we're going to take some of these guys out of here. Uh, we'll take we'll take Marsh Stranger out because he's. I was actually going to start that, but I changed my mind when I was booking the show. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We've got some opponents in there. And the whole thing 
Well, actually, I don't want to give away any of my plans yet. We'll let them come to fruition, as I use that word again, without knowing if it's a real word or not. But yeah, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. That's pretty much going to wrap this episode up. Our best ever episode. Let's actually have a quick look at that, the top 100. Yep, that was definitely our best event. Our, yeah, second event to ever get a B plus as well. And it beats uh, December's uh, season's beatings by one point. Awesome. The match, however, was only our second best. Does not beat the tag team match. The the point, the decimal point percentage must have been a little bit lower. Uh, but that's still pretty cool to hit the 99A star once again. Um, and in a singles match as well this time, despite it containing two of the guys that were actually in that tag match as well. Um, you'd have to sit, you'd have to, sorry, you'd have to think that they uh, were both <laughs> the reason why it got a 99 in the first place. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, drop a like if you enjoyed. Uh, we got another 99A star match and got our best ever rating for a show. Happy days, I think it deserves a like and I'd very much appreciate it if I got some. Apart from that, subscribe if you're a new viewer or if you aren't subscribed already for whatever reason. And apart from that, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.